Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And you know what time it is. It's time to go over some playoff picks because the NFL's regular season has ended. And I was 8-8 eight and eight in the final week. So... Needless to say, I did not get to 60% for the season. Of course, you run into that. You tend to run into that in the last week because there are a lot of teams that aren't playing for really anything. So, and oh, by the way, um, my wife saw a couple of my videos and she said I needed to be more animated. So, I guess I have to go out and hire a cartoonist. But anyway, we will be getting into the picks now because this is going to be Wild Card Weekend coming up on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday is going to be the AFC games and Sunday will be the NFC games. So let's get into it. The first game is going to be the Texans and the Bills. And this game will be in Houston. And you can see the Texans are coming into the game 10 and 6, and so are the Bills. But in the last three, the Texans were 2 and 1, the Bills were 1 and 3, or 1 and 2. Uh, they did not play each other at all during the season. You can see the passing stats there, and I gave the slight edge to the Texans for the passing on the year. And then um, you can see the rushing results, and I'm calling that a draw, basically. I'm, you know, it's, there wasn't enough separation there in any of the statistics to say that one was better rushing than the other. And then you've got the uh, head coach comparison, um, Bill O'Brien for the Texans. He's 53 and 46 lifetime and one and three in the playoffs. And Sean McDermott, who is 25 and 23 uh, lifetime in the regular season and 0 and 1 in the playoffs. So I called that a draw. And uh, so basically, overall, I'm going to give the edge to the Texans. Both teams had the same record, but the Texans have been better in the last three. Um, they are slightly better passing um, on the year, and they are at home. So that's going to be the first game at 4.35 p.m. on January. So, yeah, go with the Texans on that one. So I don't think the Bills, I don't think the Bills got what it takes. Um, early on in the season, they looked like they were a uh, they looked like they were a serious contender, somebody to be taken seriously. But now it just looks like they're going to be a one and done, like they were in uh, 2017 in the playoffs. And that's another thing: the Texans have been in the last five years. The Texans have been to the playoffs uh, three times in the last five years. The Bills have only been to the playoffs once since 1999 and that was 2017 so now we got the next game here and you know this isn't going to really be a surprise i shouldn't even really have to go over any stats for this one but this is the uh, patriots at um, 8 15 p.m on saturday the fourth the patriots come into the game overall 12 and 4 the titans come in 9 and 7 in the last three games, the Patriots have been 2-1, and one, although the loss was to the Dolphins. So, and they had something to play for. So that's a little worrisome if you're a Patriots fan. But the um, Titans come in 1-2 in the last three. Head-to-head, uh, -head, they again have not played. In fact, there's only going to be one matchup this weekend coming up that where the two teams had actually played each other during the season. Uh, you can see the passing stats. I'm not going to go over those, but um, basically I called that a draw, surprisingly. 
Um, and then the rushing I gave the edge. You can see the stats that I've got down there for the uh, Titans and for the Patriots. And I gave an ever so slight edge to the um, to the Titans for rushing. Uh, and then you got head coach, and that's just it, boom. They just you know it's Belichick versus the guy who used to play for him, Mike Vrabel. But I don't think Brable gets any points for having played for Belichick. So, um, Belichick, yeah. I mean, he's going to be the greatest coach in the history of football, let alone anybody that he would go up against. So, yeah, we're going to say, uh, we're going to say take the, uh, take the Patriots right there. Yeah. I think the Patriots are going to win. Now, Later, when they go up against potentially a team like Kansas City or Baltimore, then we're really going to have to do the breakdown and see what happens. But really, it's you know, just eyeballing that one is a no-brainer. It's going to the Patriots. Okay, so now we got now we're starting the Sunday games. Sunday, January fifth, one o five p.m. Whoa. All right, let me back that up a little bit so you can see it. Uh, you've got the uh, Vikings visiting the Saints. The Vikings come in 10 and 6. The uh, Saints come in 13 and 3. Um, in the last three, the Saints were 3 and 0. And the Vikings were 1 and 2. So an edge there to the Saints. Really, basically, we don't have to go through this. For this game but we're doing it anyway um head to head again the teams did not play each other this past year passing there you can see the stats and uh the saints have passed for over 4,000 yards while the Vikings didn't really even come close to yards. so we give the edge of passing to that and the saints then in rushing, you can see that I gave the uh, edge to the Vikings. They rushed more, and for a uh, for a higher per rush average and more touchdowns. So I gave the edge in rushing to the Vikings, but I don't think it's going to help them. And then I didn't mark this down. It's Sean Payton versus Mike Zimmer. I would give the slight edge there to Payton because he has been to the postseason. I think, yeah, pretty safely he's been to the postseason. He's been, not only that, but he's won the Super Bowl. And Mike Zimmer has not. That's not to say that Mike Zimmer's a bad coach because I think he's a, he's a good coach. He's a very good coach. But... He's not Sean Payton. So, there's that game. So, yeah, we're going... Uh, we're going Saints on that one. Take the Saints. And that's going to bring us to the last game. And now, most of these games, I want to just preface this by saying most of these particular games, you didn't have to do all this breakdown. But I had to fill up a little bit of time. So that's what happened. So now we've got Sunday, January 5th. All right, here we go. Back it up a little, let you see what's going on. You got the uh, Seahawks at 11 and 5, who are visiting the 9 and 7 Eagles because they won the NFC least with a pretty sorry effort. So, um,. However, in the last three games, I believe the Eagles are three. I didn't write it here, but I think the Eagles are three and zero in their last three, while the um, Seahawks are one and two. And head to head, this is the only matchup where the two teams played each other, and Seattle won the game 17-9 in Philly, and that's where this game is. So guess what, boys and girls? And then uh, passing, I, uh, I called that a draw. You can see the stats right there. Rushing, I gave the slight edge to um, the Seahawks. Uh, they had a slightly higher um, average. The touchdowns were about the same. And they rushed for a 
about uh, 200 plus yards more. So it's a slight edge, but you know, whatever. And then the coaches, I gave a draw. It's Pete Carroll versus Doug Peterson. You know, they're either they're either a couple of lawn gnomes or they're uh, really intelligent dudes. But you know, Pete Carroll um, has been to I think he's been to two Super Bowls, two or three. Don't know off the top of my head. Um, and I don't even remember if the Seahawks won one. They made, I want to say they won one, and maybe they've been three, although maybe that was before Pete Carroll. I don't know. All I know is Doug Peterson has been to one Super Bowl, and he won it. So, I don't know. I mean, when you add all of that up and you put it all through the uh, number muncher, it probably comes out the same thing. So, um, I, I would say that the coaching is a draw. So we're still going to say that we are going with, oh, drop it. we're going with the Seahawks there in that game. Uh, mainly because the Seahawks are the better team. They had the better record. They uh, came very close to winning their division and they, um, and they beat the Eagles head to head this past season. So, I'm, I guess I'm, that's what I got for you. Um, we got the same, uh, got the same deal with, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel if you like this. And uh, ring the bell so that you're notified when I have new content out. And, of course, send to other people so that they can see they can be interested and maybe take my picks to Vegas because hey this was a serious statistical breakdown right here I mean it took me all of maybe an hour to do this and so here's my contact information as always you know you got the Twitter right there you got the Instagram sportsman Z on Instagram and then you got the uh, email down at the bottom And that, yeah. And so there we go. We've got the picks for the first week of the NFL's games. The first four games coming up this weekend. And so that's going to be it, I think, for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.